On our break, Brian Crowdson, our cameraman, was telling us about how that when he was a little kid, he would go behind the garage and grab rhubarb and just stick it in sugar and eat it. So I guess he's still alive, so yeah, I guess it's so okay. Yeah, so you can't eat it raw. <laughs> there you go. Okay. This is our finished pork loin. And see that nice, beautiful golden color? And like the, the thing that people are afraid of when they're searing something is they're afraid to get it too dark. You know, and I okay. mean, you can burn something, don't get me wrong, but I mean, it's hard to get it too dark. You want a really good crust on there. Well, I okay? liked it like that And, and that's the good part. Yes, yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. And um, so the thing when searing something, just use a hot pan, make sure you dry off your product, and okay. don't be afraid to burn it. And don't go poking on there with your tongs. Because well, that... You know, don't none of this. Okay. Try to keep yourself <laughs> occupied doing something else. Because people always put it down there, and then they poke it, and they're like, I don't know why it won't get a sear. Yeah. <laughs> and it, when it's, and then they're afraid they're, it's going to stick. But when it's ready, it'll release itself. You'll kind of just move it a little mm -hmm. bit, and it'll pick up. Okay. Okay. So I've got some sherry here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make, we're going to deglaze this pan a little bit because we mm. want all those little brown bits. We want to yes. make a nice little sauce out of it. Okay. okay? And that's what we worked so hard to get when we seared that, okay? So some sherry and some chicken broth. Okay. You can use pork stock if you got some laying around, but like, good luck with that one. Yes. Okay. Okay, and a little salt and pepper in there. Okay. And we're just gonna bring that up to a simmer, and then we're gonna thicken it in a minute with a cornstarch slurry. And cornstarch slurry is just cornstarch, okay. okay? And some kind of cold liquid. Okay. Don't try to use something hot because then it's gonna lump up on you, okay? Okay. But cold liquid. And a lot of people just use water and cornstarch to make a slurry. Um, but I like to use something that I already put into the sauce because so I don't want to weaken the flavor. Stock. So you can use the chicken stock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, we're going to make a little sherry pan gravy. Okay. Easy mm -hmm. as that. And it sounds nice. Okay. And this is a great menu, like if you're having people over mm -hmm. in the springtime, you know, and it's real easy to do. Okay. So we're just going to let that reduce, and we're going to thicken it up with some slurry. You could do a roux if you want with flour and butter, but okay. slurry is just real easy. What I like about slurry is that it makes a nice clear sauce. OK, OK. OK, like okay. where flour makes it kind of cloudy. It doesn't really mm -hmm. matter. I mean, mm -hmm. whatever. But I just like that aspect of it. OK. Here's our rhubarb. And see, is that not gorgeous? Yes, the and color's I kind of mash it up a little with my spoon, mm -hmm. OK? But I still want it a little chunky. So it's nice and thick and beautiful looking. It's just a really nice color. And if you use the green, you wouldn't get that nice color. Right. So that's what I like about it. So I'm just gonna set this aside until we're ready. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm gonna start on our salad. Okay, we're making a nice bib lettuce salad okay. with some peaches and some blueberries and a store-bought dressing that we're gonna dress up. Okay. okay. Almost homemade. Almost homemade. So I've got some bib lettuce here. Okay. And you can use any kind of lettuce you want. I don't care, but I like bib lettuce. I'm into it right can now. Can you find the hy? Do you ever find the hydroponic lettuce in the grocery store? You can buy it at Schnucks. Okay. 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 Um, that's the only place I've seen it. But and by hydroponic, he means that it's grown outside of soil, just yeah. kind of in water. And you and, buy it. In and the you pack. buy it, and it's like a, a plastic clam shell that has an individual head of lettuce in that it. That stuff's so wonderful. It's gorgeous, yes. yeah. And, and they keep the root on it, so it's like alive when you buy it. Mm -hmm. And so it stays fresh a long time, at least in theory. That's what it's supposed to do. Okay. okay. So I got some bib lettuce, Boston lettuce, butter lettuce. They're all the same thing. They're the heads with kind of big leaves in the mm -hmm. store, OK? Mm -hmm. But like I said, use whatever, OK? You're not going to hurt my feelings. OK. And all I'm going to add to this is I've got some peaches here that I just bought frozen peach slices. Okay. Thought about in the microwave. Okay. Put some frozen peaches on there. You can use fresh if you want. I just, you know, got frozen because it was easier. And I got some blueberries. Okay. You can use any kind of berry you want, but like peach and blueberries are just awesome together for some mm -hmm. reason. So. Bib lettuce, blueberries, peaches. And you can get blueberries and raspberries all year round now. Yeah, you blackberries. can. Blackberries. I know, I pick them up and use them, eat them like potato chips now. Some expensive potato chips. I know, <laughs> I like that. And I got some goat cheese, and you can use whatever you want. Okay. I just had this laying around. I like smoked Gouda, I'm really into that right now, and so I use that a lot. <laughs> but just, I just got some soft goat cheese, I just crumble on there. Okay. You can use Swiss is really good in it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so some crumbled goat cheese. Wipe the old hands off here. Okay. Do you like uh, any berry in particular, Terry? Well, I just like raspberries, really. Raspberries? I do. Yeah, a whole lot. Yeah. I like to take the old uh, can of whipped cream mm -hmm. and stick it in a raspberry and squirt it oh. and then eat it. 
<laughs> I'm not ashamed. I do it. Okay. Now you're going to make a dressing. Yes. Can for you this hand gorgeous me your salad. rhubarb sauce? Yes. Okay. This is a poppy seed dressing that I bought at the store. Okay. And I don't even know what brand it is. It's the one with the peach on it. Okay. In okay. a bottle like this. It's my favorite one. You can. It's hard to find. That's about the only kind of poppy seed dressing. Yeah. Besides fat freeing, we all know I don't believe in that kind no, of thing. No, so. No, 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 okay. No. So I've got a bottle of poppy seed dressing, the one with the peach on it. Okay. okay. And then. Where's your sauce? Here is some rhubarb sauce that Terry had already done, and it's very similar to the chutney that we just made. Yeah. So I just got store-bought poppy seed dressing, and I'm just going to turn it into a poppy seed dressing, or to a rhubarb dressing by adding it to the poppy seed. Okay? So this rhubarb sauce, store-bought dressing, about equal parts. Okay? I got a little whiskey. I'm going to whisk it up. Oh. And then it's kind of a nice pink poppy oh, seed kind of color. Boy, Isn't that is gorgeous? this a gorgeous Easter salad? Yeah, it's real good for brunch. You, you know, you yeah. got Mother's Day, Easter, stuff like yeah. that coming up. Okay. Oh, how lovely. So I'm just going to drizzle this Ooh. over that. And it's really pretty, a lot of pretty it's colors. It's very pretty. And I'm not going to toss it um, because I, I like the whole yeah. mm -hmm. look of, of all the fruit that's kind of unblemished. So anyway, we just set this out and you kind of toss it as you, as you, you serve, serve yourself. It, yeah. Okay, so we're going to put this over here. Boy, is that beautiful. It's a very pretty salad. And it's just the bib lettuce, peaches, blueberries, goat cheese, or whatever kind of cheese, cheese. you want. And then the but this half is rhubarb, such a great half idea. poppy seed. And then it kind of makes it your own. You it know? makes it your own. You can technically lie and say you made it. I mean, yeah. who's going to know, you know? Okay. So here I've got some leftover chicken broth. And I'm going to add a little cornstarch to that. Okay. And I just mix it up with my finger. You can use a fork mm -hmm. if you want. Okay, make sure it doesn't have any lumps in it. And don't go crazy with this. It doesn't take a lot of cornstarch. Okay. Okay? Like, you know, you might end up with, like, pork jello. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, which is good, you know, but now what we're looking for. Okay? So this is reduced by about half right here. Okay? So okay. I'm going to take my pork out, put it on this cutting board right here. Okay. Nice. And then I'm going to take my whisk again. And I just use the same whisk I made the dressing with because we don't mind if there's a little rhubarb flavor in there. No, we don't. <laughs> and then I'm just going to whisk in a little bit of this at a time. And don't just dump it in and then stir. Like, you have to stir as you're doing it. Oh, I love the way that it makes it shine now. It How does shiny have it is. Very glossy looking. And a thickener <laughs> never reaches its full power until it boils. And cornstarch will taste a little chalky until it boils. So mm -hmm. make sure it boils. Mm -hmm. Once it boils, okay. that's as thick as it's going to get. And see, that's about what we're looking for. A nice little glazy. That's beautiful. Okay. Get rid of That'll this. That'll stick to the pork roast real nicely, won't it? And we'll Glaze it. Yeah, we'll pretend that our pork roast has rested for 15 minutes now. <laughs> okay. We're going to cut into it. All right. And see, it's very nice and juicy. Oh. That's because of that injected marinade. I'm just going to slice it about, you know, like quarter, half inch thick. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this is real easy to make for, like, two or a crowd. Well, you could do this at a table on a plate, couldn't you, for yeah. your people? Oh, the, yeah. Whoa. It looks really impressive, and there's really not a lot to it. I mean, okay. like, we've made a salad, we've made a sauce, we've made a chutney, we made a pork roast in, like, a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Got a nice little board here. I like natural looking okay, things. Yes. So, and we're just going to fan out our pork. See, it's got a little pink left mm -hmm, in it there. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you're a food police person, you can cook it all the way done. I'm not going to say anything. Okay, we'll just fan this out on here. Scoot it over, make a little room. Are you a pork fan, Terry? Oh, uh, absolutely. absolutely. In Illinois, you have to be. Yeah, I think you'll get like it's, exiled from the state yes. if you don't eat pork. <laughs> you don't eat pork? <laughs> Move out of the neighborhood. OK, here's our lovely rhubarb sauce. OK. Oh. We're just going to spoon some of this over the top of it. Oh, won't that give that pork that nice fruity, and it'll be so tart? Yeah, it's very sweet and tart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I hope that this uh, menu will prove to people that rhubarb ain't just for pie anymore. More, yeah. So, okay. And I got a few little chivies here. Uh-huh. Set on there. And then 
our favorite garnish, Terry. Yes, a cascade, a of, cascade Parmesan. of Parmesan. A cascade of Parmesan. It dresses it up so beautifully with those little chives. It does. I'm a big herb fan. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not that expensive. Put it on there. It's worth it. Yeah. Okay. So there's our lovely salad with our goat cheese and our peaches and our blueberries and our uh, rhubarb dressing, of course, mm -hmm. and our uh, marinated pork loin with our uh, mm -hmm. rhubarb sauce. Would and then this, this gravy the side, you would then? serve on the side. Yes. And, oh, and let mm -hmm. people put it on themselves? And I'll put a little bit over it. Just a little bit. Okay. Kind of mix salty and sweet with the rhubarb. Oh. And then I just serve the rest on the side. Okay, okay, okay. So now we're gonna take a little break again. And we're that gonna... sauce, that glaze from that sauce is just beautiful. Oh, thank that you. That was so simple. Corn starch, yeah. Oh, I love um, that. And more people use flour, and I don't know why. I don't whatever. know why either. So, and then it's a lot easier, no I'll melting do, We'll never involved. do that again, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, we're gonna take a break, and we'll be back, and Terry's gonna make us a very springy rhubarb <laughs> cocktail. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. 